Hey guys, welcome back to some Stalker Gamma part 18. What are we on? I don't even know. We've been doing this for a minute. You and ISG playthrough. Uh, we're down to it. I was just looking at kind of where we're at, what we got to going on, and uh, we're getting down. I feel like close to the end. Not gonna lie which is fine. There's always more playthroughs to do and uh, more mod packs and all kinds of stuff. But yeah, we still got the snow mount installed. Um, you know, I was just going to say, some of you guys asked me to do like a how to install tutorial on this and uh, I considered it, but it'd be easier just to like show you what I did. So just uh, hang on. Here we go. Okay. So for those of you that are in the Gamma Discord, I imagine a lot of you are. If you want to know how to install this snow mod or, or any mod for gamma it's probably going to be in this discord this is where i found the instructions for it what you want to do is go to the discord go down to the all the way down to the stalker general category and there's a channel in here called mods posting click that and you can search for all kinds of posts there's a ton uh, you scroll down just a little bit project inverno is right here and there's a com uh, there's a compatibility guide uh, all you need to do is go to the top of this feed oh geez there's a lot of messages in here. You just want to go all the way to the top. Here we are. Okay, the top. So all you got to do is follow these instructions. They lay out all the instructions pretty well. They give you the links and then they tell you all of these. All these things need to be disabled in the MO2. This is basically all you need to download. And then the links for those things. You scroll down a bit. There's uh, links for all these things. You can get the... I did the screen space shaders plus the frozen shaders. And then you need to go to Fabio shader pack and download. I'll just show you. <laughs> you download this shader pack, but you only use the number one and number two out of this. Three and four, you don't worry about because that is in this link, this Google Drive link. And uh, this one has, this one is for the shaders. They combine the shaders and the frozen water into one, which makes it a little bit easier. So you download those. You don't got to worry about these two things right here. Don't worry about anything under here. This, I mean, there's a bunch of comments and things, but, uh, and then the only other thing you got to worry about is this right here, this load order. Uh, load order is very simple. All that means it's literally the order in which these mods are listed. So like you can, you can drag and move any, any mod. So you want to have it in this order, the, the beefs and G, then the kin shade, and then the screen space shaders and the water, and then the actual project Inverno mod pack itself. And then as long as you disable all these, you should be fine. You'll launch the game and it'll work. Oh, uh, one other tip in your uh, launch options when you actually launch Stalker uh, to play, there's a little checkbox to uh, delete shader cache and you want to do that the first time you launch it after you get all of the mods installed. That'll just ensure that there's no uh, like shader compiling errors. But yeah, basically just follow these. You'll get it installed. It's not too bad. Anyway, let's get on with what we're going to do today. I'm feeling a little ballsy. So what we're going to do is actually go to, uh, we have a, uh, what was once a green stash is now a golden stash out of your, over here in the outskirts of Pripyat, arguably one of the most dangerous places in the zone, but we can get over there pretty easily. We're going to have to pass through Pripyat itself and then get into the outskirts. And then I want to get this stash. I, I, you never know, man. It could be expert tools, which would be pretty much the last main like big item we need in order to just kind of reach in game gear and equipment. And uh, I think that would be pretty dope. I got a bunch of ammo made up, 250 rounds. We should be able to deal with all the monolith and mutants that we run into. Tons of uh, hydro shock, almost 200 rounds of hydro shock. And then I'm still using this SV-98. I'd love to get a new sniper, but we're going to need expert tools to get one repaired. So. Looks like we can just pass in. We're right next to it, luckily, so we don't have to travel around too much. Pripyat is gonna be nuts. I'm curious to see what it looks like in the uh, snow. It's gonna be pretty sick. So, yeah. All right, without further ado, let's just hop right in here. See what we can get into. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're joking me. Um, hold on. Oh, God, no, please. No! Don't shoot yourself in the head, please. Don't do it! No, dude! Come on! Fight it! Fight it! Fight it! Fight it! I think I'm dead, boys. Oh, god damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ, bro. What the fuck? Why would it put me here? Oh, I never set spawn. How do I have all my stuff? Uh-oh. Um, is the Souls-like mod broken? 
Okay, well that was Pripyat. I'm not supposed to have any of my things. That we just skipped the entire day. Um, I'm not supposed to be here. I, 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 I uh, <laughs> um, okay, a lot just happened. I have Souls Like Mod installed, so I respawned at my last place that I slept, but I forgot to set spawn on the, uh, which you can do right here. Forgot to set spawn at the new base, so that was a dumb mistake. So I'm still back here at the at, at, at Dead City at the Merc base, but uh, for some reason I have all of my things. I'm not supposed to have all of my things. It's supposed to drop all of my things. So something's wrong with the Souls like mod. That might honestly be due to everything that I uninstalled for this uh, Inverno mod to work, but I'm not sure. This is not right though. Um, hmm. What to do? <laughs> okay. Well, Pripyat is freaking hell. What the heck? I died instantly. That's not very cool. Well, I guess let's uh. Let's eat some cheese, let's... <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, I guess... I, I don't know, I guess we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> that was stupid. I, I am gonna go to Pripyat, we're gonna have to try that again. But, I don't know why I'm here, I don't know why I didn't... It, it's supposed to drop all of your items and then you have to go back to your place of death, like in Souls, like Dark Souls, and uh, and you can reacquire all of the things that you, you died with. Um, it's kind of insane and hardcore and make, makes dying terrifying, but it's not really working, so... I guess lucky me. <laughs> uh, while we're here, well. I have some shit to turn in. There we go. Gave that dude a fracture hand. And he wants me to meet with someone named Griffith. Okay. I have a package for this guy. There we go. Let's look at the PDA. Who the fuck is Griffith? Oh, Griffith is a person in outskirts? Damn, okay. So that there's another reason to go there. How else can we get here? I guess we could go through radar? I feel like that would be even worse than Pripyat. Maybe not, though. I don't know, bro. That that first building is ridiculous. There was a fracture in there. There was a controller that I couldn't see that was able to control me through the walls, apparently. That was kind of whack. I guess we can go through radar. Let's head on to Army Warehouse, and then from our, from Army Warehouse, we can go right into Radar. And then we can pass all the way through Radar into Pripyat, and then we can go to Outskirts, and yeah. That's going to be crazy today. All right. Incredible. There we go. I needed a little something. Yeah, that looks nice. Now we got a little better sight picture on our gun. Okay, well now we can go. We're going to need to use this bed. Do we have enough food? Yeah, we got enough food. Okay, we're fine. Okay, we're gonna just head in to Army Warehouse, and we're gonna have to sleep again, pass another day, and then we'll be, then we'll be good to go. <laughs> that was a weird start, guys. I don't know what to say about all that, but what can you do? Okay. Whoa. This place looks different. I like it. I like the way this looks. What's up, boys? Got our uh, Merc squad here. Do they have any tasks? Oh shit, hold on. What was that? Is that a... Did you guys hear that? That sounded like a Chimera. That Okay, that's definitely a Chimera, bro. I don't think we've seen a Chimera in this playthrough yet. 100% a Chimera over there. There's a Merc all the way down there. Um, You know, I, I think we're fine. Let's just avoid the Chimera. So, alright, so straight ahead we have... Oh wait, what is this? Eliminate target. Oh shit. I got a mission right there down the road. Okay Um, yeah, let's take this guy out. Bro, the army warehouse looks. Oh, is this the guy? Okay, this is not the guy I need to kill, but he is an ecologist, so I'm gonna drop him. Oh Shit, I think I missed Whew. <laughs> Splattered. There might be more ecologists. They like to camp up over here. There you are. Destroyed. <laughs> nice. Yeah, 7 and uh, 14 is a great round for this thing. Uh, there might be more ecologists here. Who was that mission for, by the way? Uh, for someone in Dead City. Okay. I can't get over how sick Army Warehouse looks with this snow mod. I'm really liking it. Let me just clear this area first. Hello, hello. Is there anybody here? There's some loot. What is all this? Vodka? Sweet. Alright, I think we're good. Just got some zombies. Let's take these guys out. Yeah, this is this is nice. Alright, uh, what did you have? Holy shit! An RD-47? Bro. 
Whoa! This is a nice gun. Only needs a Type C Army Rifle Repair Kit. Shoots 545. That's a nice one. Yep, we're taking that. And then we actually have a UNISG stash over here as well. Oh, what the fuck? And uh, what are these guns? An AK-104 Alpha? This shoots 762. Yo, this is what I was wanting. What did I say? I said I wanted a 762 AK. And they just handed me one. This is nice. Yeah, th this thing's sick. What the heck? I'm I'm in love with this. Yeah, we we we, we need this. We need that. And then also the is like the lighter Not version bad. of it. Okay. How did we just get two insane guns? Like two of like my favorite AKs in the game. Got a canted sight. Does this have a laser as well? Of course it does. That's awesome. Okay. Well, I'm half tempted to go repair one of those like right now, but I guess we'll hold off. Uh, let me loot this stash. Um, some Merc armor. A helmet repair kit. That's insane. Okay. Thank you. Um, I guess we're just going to keep moving forward, honestly. And then if it... I just know if, uh, if things get too sketch, we can always go back. We can get this repaired. Uh, this would be like a much better gun to use. This will probably be like my main gun for a while. Alright, so let's, uh, let's pop some sleeping pills and let's sleep here so that we have plenty of daylight. Alright, sleep long as you can oh wow okay i actually really expected to wake up early but i didn't i'm curious i might try out the uh, the other texture for the snow mod because there were two of them there were two texture options for like the ground and everything i picked the the not default one i can't remember what it was called but it it kind of makes the ground have a little bit more uh jeez oh shit Oh shit. Wait, there's a controller and I think a bloodsucker. Oh my god. What are you doing, buddy? Please die. Okay, we got him. Those things aren't too bad to deal with at a distance. I'm just a little bit worried. There was definitely a bloodsucker over here, or... It was something. Something that disappears. I guess it could have been, like, a psi sucker. Let's take care of those. But yeah, I might try out the other texture mod. The other one looked pretty smooth. This one adds, like, a... The one I picked adds a little bit more... What do they call it? Tessellation? Yeah, you see how the ground actually looks... Like 3D. I thought that looked pretty nice. The other one's, I think, a little bit more flat, but it, it it also just looked nice. So I don't know. Gotta try them all. All right, let's loot this guy. Nice. Okay, yeah, we got a brain. That's what I was hoping for. Those are worth so much money. I got the achievement well dressed. What is that for? Well dressed requires you to either kill 500 mutants or field dress 250 mutant parts rewards. I can skin mutants faster. Well, it's instant, so that's useless. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. Um, all right, I'm gonna leave that guy alone up there. All right, let's head into uh, <laughs> radar. Oh man, it's either gonna be a lot of monolith or a lot of mutants or maybe a little bit of both. Either way, it's gonna be challenging. It's not a, f it's not really a stalker playthrough if you don't go to prep yet, you know. Some AP ammo. Junk. Oh, is this a oh shit? Yo, we just got the propane tank. We can make a stove. <laughs> Let's go. Or wait, do we need one or two of these? I don't actually know. I don't remember the exact uh recipe. To make a small small stove, I need a multi-fuel stove and some metallic scrap. And to make a multi-fuel. Okay, yeah. So that's all we needed. It only takes one use off of it. So whenever we get back to base, we'll be able to craft ourselves a small stove. And we'll get to check out and see whatever that does. And then once we get expert tools we'll be able to craft a large stove that'll be pretty much everything aside from the fridge which we also need expert tools for and then we'll have like a fully done hideout with all the new furnitures which is going to be awesome so radar this place is the creepiest i hate it but we have to go through here we are radar first time so far so good <laughs> if i don't start out dying then it's uh, it's not bad yeah this looks pretty cool with the snow and everything. I'm, I'm digging it, man. Uh, on a side note, I'm thinking, and you guys let me know in the comments, you know, as always. 
but uh thinking we should check out efp again soon they haven't been they haven't had any like they haven't had a ton of big updates but they have had some and i would just like to check it out so if that's something you'd like to see let me know oh yeah jupiter x heck point <laughs> um okay not a single living thing in sight break some boxes shall we uh gamma's working on an update right now oh my god you're kidding me it got stuck okay he's unstuck okay he's dead yeah, Gamma is working on an update right now. The next hot, hot fix for uh, Gamma is going to be pretty nice because right now well, they just disappeared. But when you have a bunch of items on the ground, it it lags your game like crazy. Just 3D models in the world. So if there's a bunch of stalkers in each gun that they're holding, all those things wreck your frame rate. And uh, they're working on a way to sort of mitigate that. And I can't wait. It should improve frames for everybody across the board. And that's going to be nice. This radiation is insane, but this helmet is holding strong. Uh, what is that? What am I looking at here? It's a dead dog. Okay. All right, so dead mutants. That means either another mutant killed it or there's some monolith out here. Uh, let me just take a look at the map. So basically, oh wow, there are bodies everywhere. We basically just need to follow the road all the way up and then take a hard left and then hard right. And then we'll be in Pripyat. I don't feel like I'm geared enough for this, I'm gonna be honest, but you know, what can you do? We gotta go here at some point. The only way to get better gear is to go to more dangerous places. Just need to be on the lookout for chimeras, man. They they just be sneaking around out here. I'm not sure what kind of... I'm not sure what kind of thing is. Uh, it's just called darkness. Okay. Let's see. Darkness. What does this do? It's, it's, it's psionic. Affecting the mind of any sentient being within its vicinity. One of the most dangerous anomalies ever recorded in the zone. Wow. How about that? So it just destroys your sigh as soon as you step into it probably want to avoid that i just want to move through here kind of swiftly but not too swift i don't want to run into something oh shit holy hell everything launched oh the radiation got me there hold up Dang. Ooh. Wait for him to jump. Where's he at? Okay. Oh my god. Please die. Ooh. Oh. Oh my god oh okay 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 uh smokes i don't have any regular smokes give me one of these <laughs> oh man okay sharper knife is required for this mutant oh come on man oh i still have the starting knife oh i'm such a fucking noob i can't even loot it look at this thing Man, that sucks. I would love to to loot that thing. I have money too. I could I could easily have bought another knife by now. I'm so disappointed in myself for not getting a new knife. I almost did like a few episodes ago. I think I know I was looking at them. Well, that was dumb. And we just used like a lot of ammo. We're down to 99 shots. What was he doing? He was just sitting in the truck. I was kind of hoping he'd be stuck in there, but no. Oh, and with the mutants getting stuck, by the way, they're placed like how they'll get like hung up on texture and just run in place. That is not due to Inverno. That is actually something with the latest gamma patch. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys have been noticing it too, if you're playing. Uh, it just kind of is happening now. I don't, I don't know. Because, uh, yeah, one of my buddies just got gamma. And so he has a clean, like, default fresh install of the game. And it's happening to him. At least it's not the Inverno mod, but hopefully they get that fixed soon. I'm sure they will. Well, there was our, that was our first Chimera, and it's literally, it was like the, the demonic version. Even, they're a lot tougher. So we need to turn left up here and then take our first right up that main road. I feel like there's going to be some monolith over here. There's usually some monolith over here. It's going to be really hard to see monolith, I just realized, because of their outfit colors. And this, like, white snow. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy a knife. Like, that is going to be, oh, there's one. 
A new knife is going to be like main priority. Uh, do I just snipe this dude right now? He's just a trainee. No Talon. There might be so many. There's one. Okay, there's two. And the radiation here makes my screen so fuzzy. It's also because the Brain Scorcher is still active, but I, I don't feel like disabling the Brain Scorcher today. Alright, let's drop these guys. Um, yeah, there's one. Okay, there's three right here in front of me. How much AP do I have? I have 11 AP. You know what? We might as well. Let's make this a little easier on ourselves. Whoa. Okay. That dude took some shots. Okay, three down. Another bullet just ricocheted near me, though. Visibility is so rough. Um, okay, go. we got six shots of AP. There you are. Demolished. Oh. I don't know if I... I don't think I killed him. Oh, jeez. You're freaking accurate, bro. Oh my, dude, they are laser beams. Holy shit. All right, 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 all right. My God. Okay. All right, we just got drilled. Jeez, bro. <laughs> Those guys are insane. Oh, what the fuck is that guy doing? He's just sitting there. We got one more AP. Okay, that was it. Let's put in regular. Let's get real low here. Okay, we dropped him. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, that was a lot of monolith. There might be some more as well. Let's reload this. Whew, okay. One thing at a time, we're fine. Let me get some, uh, let me bind these smokes so I can hit those if I need to. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna take Yodelin just to, it'll top off everything. Oh no, my arm. Oh, that was terrible timing. The, the pre-heal literally effect went away as soon as I took that. That's so shit, bro. Oh, we're popping a glucose shot. I cannot afford to be busy. There's another monolith, I just saw him. All right, this is no longer AP, but it should do the trick. Still alive. There we go. I did upgrade the accuracy of this SV-98, I'm pretty sure. So it should shoot right where I'm aiming at at a decent range. That is good. That is what we needed. Uh, we are down to, okay, we just have 37, 47, I guess, if you count what's in the mag. 47 shots of seven and 14, that should be enough. But I think we need to move up and check these bodies and get the fuck out of here. This place is crazy. Yeah, they blend in pretty well, too, with this snow texture. I'm not a huge fan of that. Okay, an SR2M. Some ammo and stuff. Yeah, let's just auto-loot all of that. We might get overweight. We're already at 100 kg, probably because of these guns. Oh, and the gas balloon weighs 10 kg. Fuck me. Oh, no. And we have, yeah, we have a lot of heavy stuff. Um, yikes. Okay. Uh, what we could do, if it comes down to it, we have two of these epinephrines. They last 2,000 seconds and they give you an insane amount of weight carried. Oh, we're getting radiated. We're literally just cooking. Gosh dang it. Wasn't paying attention. This guy have Korth Custom 6 inch. Nice gun, bro. Uh, we're gonna auto loot. Oh my god, the radiation, the radiation, the radiation. Okay, we're taking an Okay, we're taking one of these. Just give me some re resistance. There we go. Using all the drugs. Kinda have to. Oh, look at these bodies. Uh, good stuff. I'm not gonna spend too much time. On these guys. Universal weapon cleaning kit's huge. And what the hell? Apocalypse helmet. That thing's crazy, but we would rather have the radiation resistance on ours. Uh okay, auto loot nice. We got a med. Monolith have the best loot, man, I'm telling you. Oh, KS23 short barrel. That's what I want. It's just like the one I have. Oh, it actually does less damage. The one I have does 300, this does 282. Well, what's the point in the short barrel? We're gonna leave it. I can't afford to add 4 kg right now. I'm already like pretty much overweight. And we haven't even made it like halfway through this place. I'm gonna have to maybe drop some things just to try and avoid using my epinephrine. What can I get rid of? Uh, kerosene. It's really useful, but you know, I can buy more. 
Let's get rid of it. We have to have the gas balloon. Keeping the cleaning kits. Do I drop the RD? Ugh. I mean, between these two guns, I'm definitely gonna... I have to keep the alpha, right? Hang on. Let's field strip. Let's take the gas system out of this. Let's drop it. And then we'll put the gas system in the alpha AK. There we go. Okay, we're down to 104. Goodbye, good gun. That sucks. We have other 545 rifles. And 545, honestly, to me, just is not as good as uh, this guy died in the truck. He did. Oh, we're getting radiated. All right, give me all that. Ooh, man's chilling. He got no arms. <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait, is this where we turn at? It is. Let's go. Okay, we're actually so close. Dude, I'm still mad that I used that Yodelin at the worst time possible. Basically, whenever you first aid, either by bandaging or using like an AI2, it heals those little red segments of your limbs to, to yellow. And once they're yellow, that's when you use ibuprofen or uh, Yodelin. And that'll post heal the limbs, get them back to normal. The, the first aid effect, the yellow bar, only lasts for a little bit and it slowly drains. And I used the Yodelin right when it went away. Okay, still eating radiation. Is there anybody up here? Is there any loot in here? What is this? Yes. Oh, nice. Hey, we got our Yodelin back. There we go. <laughs> okay, into Pripyat. Hopefully we don't start off dying. Fuck me. Get me out of here. Woo! No, don't go back! Oh, why would that... Why would that take me back? Damn it, dude, I <laughs> I hate the freaking zone transfers. They're, the radius to hitting those is so big. Okay, that was a little bit immersion breaking. Let's go back in. <laughs> There's a fucking exosuit. I probably should have popped the morphine ampule before I came in here. Where you at, bitch? Okay, one down. Still have this big boy over here. Let me get into some cover. Okay, I think he's dead. Cannot believe I'm in Pripyat, dude. This is crazy. I, I put semi, I put full auto on, but I honestly don't feel like that was benefiting me. I feel like I was just missing more bullets and we really need to conserve ammo. 200 rounds is not that much. Are we good? Did we kill the exosuit guy? Maybe we did. Yeah, there's a master guy right there. Damn, the first guy I killed when I came in here earlier disappeared. That sucks. Oh, wait. Oh, you tricky bitch. He wasn't dead. That was our exo guy. Pro tip for anyone dealing with monolith. If they're down and not dead, don't approach them. <laughs> there's a uh, mechanic for monolith and there might be other factions that do it too, but if you approach a body that isn't, if they're downed like that, they'll uh, they'll pull a pin on a nade and try to martyrdom you. So yeah, just a heads up. It's not a good way to go. Nice monolith armor type D weapon cleaning kit. There we go. Let's take all of that. Man had an AUG as well. Man, we're getting so heavy. Nothing I can really do about it, though. What did this dude have? Holy shit, he had a raptor, bro. Let's go. Okay, we're taking all that, and I have so many of these stem packs. I'm going to use those for a minute instead of my AI-2s. He has a monolith exo, and the raptor shotgun I absolutely have to take, so this is like the best shotgun IMO. It's so good. L96, dude. Quite of these guns. I want them all. We're gonna take the bolt carrier off of that. Oops. Did not mean to disassemble it. Okay, so we're in Pripyat. Holy hell, look at all these bodies. There's a UNISG stash that is not worth grabbing, to be honest, if I don't have to. Because I'm gonna try to like kind of sneak by and just get out of here. I have to go all the way to outskirts. That's the only way, huh? Yeah, that goes to Chernobyl MPP. This goes back to Jupiter. Yeah, we're gonna be killing some more monolith then for sure. It's gonna be so hard to see them too with this white snow. Okay, well, we're good for a second. Let me uh, select this as my, the outskirts as my waypoint. And then I'm really curious who this Griffith guy is. I feel like, I mean, I guess it's a mercenary. I, I don't even know who Griffith is. I'm not sure if I've ever dealt with him. My God, what? That might've been like a LMG or something, which would not be good. Oh, before I forget, we're taking morphine right now because this is about to get crazy. Could have just been a monolith shooting mutants. I'm gonna try to just kind of hug this right side. Once we get to outskirts, you know, then we can do a little bit more exploring, but the the, the heart of Pripyat is fucking rough. 
Yeah, I don't think we can go that. Well, there is an open door. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a pseudo-giant. We're going this way. I just heard a pseudo-giant walking around. We're gonna go inside this building. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, the, I think the models are getting attacked by a pseudo-giant right now. Which is kind of good for me. Well, let me see if I can see what's going on here. There's something dead right there. Okay, so the pseudo giant is killing everything. So from what I understand, these guys are pretty territorial, so they won't chase me infinitely, I don't think. Yeah, okay, he's fine, he's fine. No, he's coming. Okay. I hope he doesn't chase me forever. Oh my god, he's coming. We gotta move. Hopefully there's nobody here. Let's keep going. It would be nice to kind of take my time and loot through this place, but I don't know if you can tell I'm a little bit freaked out right now. Okay, we got a little tunnel here. Um, is this where I need to go? I think so. I think so. What are these bodies? Okay, dog, dog. Not worried about it. Let's go in here. Don't think there's any monolith in here. At least it doesn't seem like it, so... Oh shit, okay. Monolith right there. This is gonna be so loud. Nice dude, two headshots. He's done. Probably more. There's always more. There's never just one monolith, you know? The question is, how long do we sit here and wait? Can't really afford to spend too much time. We need to get through here. We could probably go to the right, and then we could push up the, the outside wall to get out. Um, yeah. The only problem is, uh, this whole place right here in the middle is just crawling with these guys. This is where you fight Eidolon in the main campaign. I guess I could eat, eat some more cheese, you know? Why not? Might as well. Really need to get that stove working because that is going to allow us to cook some high quality meals. Um, a lot of those said meals are made with like, you know, chimera, bloodsucker meat, things like that, lurker meat. And a lot of them give you carry weight, give you a lot of good buffs, along with just a good amount of food as well. I would love to loot this guy, but... <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, that was from the left. No clue. Not even the sl Not even the slightest clue where he was. Eat shit. Is that because of- Okay, I don't know if he's throwing a nade or if that was- because he saw mine. I don't know, we're gonna fall back though. It sounded like they were pushing. Oh shit, okay, we just domed one. We have a pretty good spot to hold at least. So I think we'll be okay to take this fight. Whoa. That guy came out of nowhere. Heard another voice far left. There's so many bushes over here, man. That is a nightmare for me. There's definitely more guys. Let's do a cheeky loot. Oh, AK-12 monolith. Rarely encountered in the zone. Comes with three firing modes. This is such a nice AK, bro. I want it. What do I do, you know? Oh, God. Get out of here, bro. Oh, okay. We got another shooter somewhere over this way. Start chucking some nades. Where you at, bro? Okay, that was scary. Yeah, they, they do like to sneak up on you when you're looting. There's a lot of windows there. A lot of windows out there. This is not good. This is not a good spot to be in. Let's push out. Grab that. Just seeing if I can draw some fire. Got nothing, though. What do I do about that? I want that mono with AK. I'm gonna grab it. Alright, let me fall back. Let's take a look at our weight situation. Yeah, we got three insane guns. I really want to keep all of these. Um, I also have a PDA that I got off one of them. It's a locked one, of course. Okay. Okay, buddy. Jeez. Alright, he shot me in the head. 
helmet took a little bit of damage there. We're just gonna have to keep picking these guys off until they're until they stop coming, I guess. Not much else of an option here. My head, I don't like how damaged my head is. Uh, okay, we still got some damage resistance. What I could do is just pop one of these epinephrines. We do have two, but we still gotta get into outskirts. So like, it only lasts 2,000 seconds. Fuck it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna pop one of these and then loot everything. This is gonna be stupid. <laughs> Insane stamina right now. All right. Uh, I can now carry 139.5 kg. Holy shit. All right, let's take a little peek. Oh, I should probably reload this. Oh, shit. Run. Bro! What? <gasps> Not cool, homie. Not cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. Light the fire. Dude. That guy destroyed me. They're they're so accurate. I, I was about to fall back, but then I you know I realized he was reloading, so I had an opportunity there to take him out. We only have 140 more ammo in reserves right now. It's not a lot. And what a terrible time to reload. Okay, let's push out again. All right, we need to just like loot and then. Oh shit. Yep, I saw you. Okay, he's dead. That guy, I may not loot. He is pretty far out there. It's a dead dog over there. Okay, yeah, this guy's looted. This guy is looted. Just need to stay low. Oh, that's a VSS, bro. It's a sick gun. We'll take some of this. We're not taking all of it. Is the VSS good? I don't know. Is it worth taking? Probably not right now. I can't really prioritize that. I, I like the guns I have. Holy shit, these bodies. There's too many of them. Oh, he has a battery. That doesn't weigh too much, actually. Let's take it. Ammo. Get out of the way. I need to loot this guy. Ooh, okay, this guy's out in the open. Hold on, can I, uh... I cannot shift F him. Oh, fuck, he has an MP7. All right, we're taking that. Uh, auto loot. Run. Do I loot that guy? I feel like I'm getting greedy here. Okay, we're, we're, we're very close to the exit. We really are. Uh, we still have 360 seconds of... Resistance. Moved up a bit. What are we at? We're at 125. Bro. <laughs> we are so overweight. Let's just check you. You're the last guy. Thermite grenade. Nice helmet. Oh, shit. I have to take that. <laughs> I have to take it. I don't have a choice. I need all the loot. This is crazy. We're at 130 kg. Okay. Street looks clear from here. We just need to go up the street and then we can exit. Let's get out here. Hold on, let me just clear it with a scope. Oh, fuck you! What the heck? Who are you, bro? Get away! Oh god, that's Eidolon. Yo. What? Oh my god, we gotta run. Holy shit, that's Eidolon. He's invincible, isn't he? No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Run. That's literally Eidolon. I don't think we can kill him. Oh my god, get me out of here. Bro, I'm out. I am out this bitch. See you later. He is fucking chasing me. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh my god, okay, we're out. Okay. Ooh, man, alright. Oh god, are you kidding me? Was that at me? There's so many windows in this place. Oh my god, that was crazy. Okay, we're in the outskirts. We're at- we're almost overweight again. Even though I just popped the most insane med ever. My head's a little damaged. I cannot believe that was Eidolon, bro. No wonder he wasn't dying. We've only got 140 more rounds. 
for our M4, and there's a ton of shit going down right here. What the fuck? Um, oh, dude, that's UNISG. Okay, uh, we have the laboratory. We have UNISG over here, and then we have the Griffith down low. We gotta go help out this UNISG guy, and this needs a new battery. Put that in, there we go. Okay, let's go up to this UNISG dude and hopefully help him out. It's good that there's another friendly here. Grocery store. Okay, let's check shots. Who are you? You and I, she. Okay, did we did we get him? What is up? Nice, we got some friendlies, and they killed so many people. What the fuck? Um, can I talk to you? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. Is there anything you want done? He wants a VSS on tours. Gosh, dang it, dude. We literally left one. I should have grabbed it. Oh man. Can I loot these guys? Holy shit, a fucking vector, bro. We got an MP7 and a vector. Those are the best SMGs in the game. This is nuts, bro. This is actually nuts. Oh, radiation. Yo. Hold up. Pop that. God, dude, this place is so ridiculous. Okay, we gotta loot and just get out. Um. Oh my god, a Remington? What am I doing? I gotta quit looting. Can't loot this guy. Okay, that's fine. Fair enough. Um. Wow, we're overweight. Wow. Okay, there's dogs everywhere. Okay, that's the UNISG. I'm gonna let him just deal with that shit. I've got to heal, and uh, we gotta keep moving here. This is wild. I don't know what to do. I'm holding too many things, and I don't even have anything that is like worth dropping at this point. Look at these guns. I wanna say my stamina is not that bad just because of the, the drugs I took. Here's the plan. We're gonna run down here. We're gonna talk to this Griffith guy, whoever the hell this is. And then we're gonna grab the stash, and then we're leaving. And hopefully we can do that within 1,400 seconds, because that's all we have left on our stamina. Um, where are you, bro? How do I get inside? Hello, mercs! What's up, guys? Fuck yeah. There's a whole-ass merc base here. Dude, I don't think I've ever even been in this place. This is dope. What the hell? Who are you? You look important. Your name is Glue. Okay, never mind. Where is this guy? Where is this guy? Open door. Here we go. Holy shit, this is nuts. This is like an entire base? You must be Griffith. Okay. Uh, sorry, Mesh, I've come to... Uh, how come you turned into such a dude? Okay, hold on. What is all this? Uh, what kind of help do you need? No supplies. You talk to our supplier. Come to see you. Okay, he wants to retrieve info from Lab, Lab X8. Very well. Thanks. Is there any work you want done? He wants 18 monolith faction patches. Do I... I have 48? Do I do this? I don't know. Do I turn in monolith patches or do I save them for Aslan? Um, let's look at, what do you got? What does this do? Does he have anything I need? I don't need anything else. Let me just sell. Hold on, here we go. I can sell suppressors because I literally just don't think I need these. There we go. There's 18 grand. That removes a little bit of weight. We could sell like this headgear repair kit. Honestly, no, we're good. I'm not selling any of this. Uh, oh yeah, encrypted PDA, let's do that. Okay. Let's take a look at these PDAs. Um, okay, nothing on that one. Uh, there we go, we got a stash. Uh, Jupiter West of Ash Heap Anomaly. Sweet. Okay, who wants PDAs? Can you buy them? No. Nope. Who's the shop guy? Is it this guy Meeker? Here we go. Um, okay, so this dude just buys stuff. Selling that jewelry. A character doesn't have enough money. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Could buy some more ammo for my gun. Although he does not have much. Okay. Whatever, got 15 rounds. I don't know, this is, this is like some Merc quest line stuff, I think. I really don't have time to hang around though. So we have a mission to search lab eight now for two people, which is a little bit worrisome because the documents that we get out of here need to go to the UNISG, but I think this guy also wants them. So we might be faced with a with like a choice to make, but I'm, I can already tell you, I'm probably gonna give it to the UNISG because that's who we are. Okay, now we just need to go to the, the stash. So we'll set a waypoint there and, uh, oh, there's UNISG fucking chilling. We got UNISG all over the place out here, which is really nice. We just gotta make it through. We got kind of a long ways to travel. We'll check the stash. Hopefully it has expert tools. This place does have your highest chance of getting expert tools. So like statistically we should get them, but it would still be insane and pretty lucky if we did. Get out of here. Oh boy. Yeah, there's no way I could have done this without 
morphine and without epinephrine. You just simply could not make this happen. This run is actually crazy. I hope you guys are into it today. This is nuts. Honestly, the, the best part about all this is I think we might have... Yeah, we can like fast travel here now and we have friendlies. So we can actually utilize... Oh, it's a dead snort. We can actually utilize the outskirts of Pripyat. Uh, we're kind of close to the laundromat. Yeah, I want to stay away from that because there's a ton of loners in there. I'm pretty sure. My morphine just wore off. But I think I'm okay. I don't think I'm going to pop another one. We should be able to handle ourselves okay out here. It's not quite as bad as the heart of Pripyat. We are on a time limit right now. Thousand seconds still though. I think we'll be okay. We're so close to the stash. Let's just keep going. There's you and ISG in the other side of this building. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get inside. Let me up. Okay. Alright, the stash is right above us. So that's you and ISG. Hold on, I I I really gotta know like who this guy is, if he's important or anything. There's a couple of dudes out here. Look at these guys. The whole squad of them. Who are you? Are these guys important? I don't think so. Yeah, I think they're just just like soldiers. Alright, let's go up. Okay, hopefully the stash is on this floor. Is it in this thing? Oh shit, yeah it is. Look at that. That's cheeky. Search! Damn it! Advanced tools. Really not worth. Really not worth. 556, 20 AP for 556. I mean, that's cool. We're just gonna auto loot it. Damn, bro. That was not that good. I'm gonna be honest. That was, I was really hoping to get expert tools, but that's all right. Tons of meds, though. Let's take all this. There we go. Man, dude, if we could have got expert tools right there, that would have been huge. Uh, okay. Well, we need to be doing missions up here. Oh, shit. Yo, look at that. The stash we got from that PDA is a is a gold stash. So there we go. We actually can search another one today. That's awesome. We need to get back to our home base. We need to store everything, and then we're gonna have to grab that stash. There, the the dream is alive still, boys. We might get some extra tools this video. I hope so. Holy shit! I'm gonna be straight up with you, dudes. I am not running all the way back to to uh, to where we go. Um, we're gonna do one of these numbers right here. Just uh, how do I? Give me the, give me the option to, okay, yeah, we're just gonna fast travel, there we go. <laughs> okay, we're in base. Oh, too encumbered to move. <laughs> so, uh, we, we fast traveled, but it did pass time, so, hold on, can I reach my, perfect. Okay, let's just drop, let's just drop some things off, there we go, now we can move. Let's put this helmet in here, let's take these guns out, and put them in the actual gun box. Insane! <laughs> There's so much loot! That was a huge haul. We got so much ammo. Let's see, we got our gas balloon, right? So we can now make the small stove. Oh no, we have to make this thing first. So let's craft a multi-fuel stove and then hide out furniture, small stove. Oh, I need two of those. Okay, I need another field cooking kit. Can I make one of those? Yeah, we can just craft one easily. There we go. Craft, hide out furniture, small stove, craft, let's go. We just used all of our copper wire, but that's, that's fine. We have two extra advanced toolkits now, by the way. So where does this thing go? Does it go on a table? Does it go, does it go like this? Okay. Word. That's fucking sick. Turn our light on. <laughs> okay. How does this work? Interact. Access stash, use, st okay, use stove. Usable fuel. So we need kerosene, jerry can, or gas balloon in order to actually cook the food. And then we need the food itself. What makes good meat? So we can use lurker meat, and then we can use bloodsucker meat. Where's our putinka vodka? I think it's in here. Let's grab a bunch of that. All right, here we go. Okay, we can make these right here. So this, uh, okay, bloodsucker meat gives us insane radiation resistance, some stamina recovery that lasts for a long time. That's really nice. Uh, lurker meat gives us 6,400 grams of carry weight. It's not bad. And a lot of adrenaline. I say we make the lurker meat just because I have anti-rad pills and although this does last for like forever, which is really nice. Let's just make one of these. It's pretty situational when I'll actually need it. And then I'll make lurker chops for some carry weight. Uh, we only have two more fuel uses. Yeah, our gas balloon is almost empty. So we actually need to keep an eye out now for a jerry can and we can also use kerosene. Yeah, we have 48 mono faction patches, almost 50, bro, almost 50. I think with 50, 
I think with the how Gamma works nowadays, uh, with the Aslan patch lottery, instead of it being 15 to 30, I think it's 20 to 50, and I just haven't had 50 patches for any faction yet. So I'm trying to get 50 to see if that's the case. If we can get 50 monolith patches and turn them in, we've like surely we'll get something pretty damn good. Um, anywho, what am I doing now? All right, we have some new guns. We got the we got the vector, which is insane. We got the MP7 and the the AK AK104 Alpha and also the AK12 Monolith, which these are all just like top tier guns. We actually have a hundred rounds for this already, so we're gonna repair up the 7.62 AK. Let's see what kind of parts we got. We got four parts. Oh, nice. The vector has a good barrel already. Okay, so the vector shoots 45 caliber. It does 27 damage with 1100 RPM. The MP7 shoots 5.7 ammo with 950 RPM. I think the vector is going to be better. And it's also one of the guns that I don't think I've actually ever used. I have used an MP7 before. Um, so just from looking at all that, let's put the MP7 back. Let's grab the vector and one of those, one of these, one of these, and one of these. All right. Okay. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. No, we can't repair the Alpha AK. We need an advanced, ugh, type D. What about this? This one uses a rifle. Okay, well, fuck. There goes that plan. Let's put this back. Monolith AK-12, or yeah, I guess Monolith AK-12 it is. Wait, does that also take D? No, that takes C, so we're fine. Do I have a army rifle kit? I do, but it only has one use on it, so we might need more. Let's go to repair, AK-12, 100%. Um, oh, I'm actually gonna repair these parts a bit I'm just using files to repair these little individual parts okay how's your family doing shush all right back to workshop all the individual parts are fixed up so now we should be good okay we go 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent repair now the vector this one's gonna be perfect condition i think there we go there we go all right, Vector is good to go. We just need to fix the overall condition of it. Uh, and then for the AK-12, we have a damaged barrel and a worn trigger. How do we not have a trigger for this? Are you serious? Hold on. Wow, I'm amazed that we don't have a three mod trigger. Do I have a gun that has a three mod trigger? This one has a three mod. Okay, G36. We are taking another part off of this. Give me that three mod. Okay, three mod goes in the AK. There we go. Everything is fixed except for the barrel, but we can use the army rifle to replace barrel. And there we go. It's good to go. Uh, okay, let's unload the pistol. Does this go in the pistol slot? Oh, oh no, it doesn't. Why you gotta do that to me? Okay, all right, let's put the sniper away since we basically used all the ammo for it anyway. Put the vector in. Nice. Let's go, bro. That is awesome. Even that iron sight is pretty damn sick. Bro, this is like one of the best guns in the game. For real. This is going to absolutely destroy mutants. Its fire rate is so crazy. Hold on. I'm going to put FMJ in just so you, I can test the fire rate. You ready for this shit? <laughs> uh, just a small burst like that's enough to kill like most mutants in the game. Except for like the very strong ones. Uh, we no longer need the USP match as a sidearm. We can actually use something different. We could actually use a sidearm that's good at killing stalkers. What does the most damage? We got a 5.7. Uh, we also have the shrimp. So maybe the shrimp or the 5.7. Let's see which ammo would be better. So we got 5.7. So if we made a bunch of SS-190 rounds for the 5.7, it would be pretty damn powerful against stalkers. And then the 9x21 is kind of a, it's kind of in between 24 damage with a BR-3. Let's do the 5.7. Replace spring, repair. And then we need to right click, maintain, replace barrel. Very nice. New pistol. Let's go. So yeah, with these SS-190 rounds, we should be able to melt through armor with this. That's gonna be nice to actually be able to use our sidearm for, for stalkers. Shit. Shit. Okay, there's our monolith AK-12. Very nice. Let's put the M4 away. A lot of hideout stuff going on right now, but I think you guys, for the most part, enjoy this kind of stuff. So that is cool with me. Okay, how much ammo can we make? Let's use workshop. Look at this. We can make so much of the SS-190 rounds. Let's just do it. Let's just fucking full send that shit. Look, well, oh my god. We got 150 of the good ammo. There we go. Each of these guns are good to go, except for we just need the condition to be repaired. So we're at 34, 22, and 36. Um, this one that's at 22 is going to be a little bit tricky to get fixed up. But these two can get with uh do i need kerosene for this i might honestly just to get bonus repairs let's use this gun oil 
with a cloth mask. There we go. Done. And then let's do that same thing with the 5-7. Oh, let me grab another mask if I have one. I do. Okay, 5-7, cloth mask done. Okay, two guns down, one more to go. This one is at 22%. I think... How am I going to repair this? Hang on. I should have something. Oh, right here. Um, we could use a type C. You know what? The universal we just picked up and is really good, but I think I'd rather use the type C. We'll use the, we'll use the type C because the universal I feel like is more versatile. It's a little bit better to have. We'll use it for something down the road, but let's go ahead and use that with some kerosene. There we go. 52%, 69, 80, 92. 100 fuck it we just burnt through a bunch of repair stuff but that's fine we got three new guns uh let me top off on my steel wool always need some more of that i'm gonna go ahead and buy some kerosene as well we did have like 80 some odd thousand dollars which is awesome okay um how are we doing on meds everything looks good we got tons of caffeine there we go all right last thing we need to do is just get our ammo situation figured out Let's put all the 5.56 five, back. So we have a 5.7 ammo. We already have some Hydroshock for the Vector. We just need 5.45. Five. So let's grab what we already own. We got a decent amount of AP, a couple mags. Uh, the HP, we're not even really gonna worry about using. We'll just need to make some FMJ. So to make this ammo, we need the green gunpowder. So we need AR casings and we need small bore AR rifle bullets. I'm just going to get rid of all of my 7.62 by 2.5. It's like a really bad pistol round, honestly. Um, we're going to get rid of all of our 9 mil that isn't AP. We're honestly going to get rid of all of our SP5 ammo as well and turn it into SP6. That looks good. Let's break all this ammo down. That was a ton. <laughs> that was so much ammo stuff. Okay, 545 F and J. Let's just craft like as much as I can. There we go. All right, we need a lot more AR bullet rounds or uh, bullet parts. Okay, we're good. Let's load in some FMJ, the AK Monolith 12. What's a little bit special about this thing is it has a little two round burst mode, which is pretty nice. Always kind of nice to do that. A little two round burst you can still be very accurate with, but it's just a little extra damage every time. Uh, okay, last but not least, let's just get some attachments and then we're gonna go get that stash. Smooth like butter. Okay, bro. We have no uh, canted sight option, but that's okay. And the vector, let's go ahead and throw the suppressor on that. There we go. Oh my god, it's so sick. Oh wait, you know what? Uh, detached suppressor. Give me that. Now we have a 5.7 suppressor. Yo, this thing is sick, what the fuck? Hell yeah, bro. Now we have a suppressed 5.7. Oh, that sounds so good. Okay. All right, I'm done creaming over these guns. These things are just so nice. Whole new loadout. Uh, what about that helmet I got? I don't think I'm going to be able to repair this anytime soon, but let's just take a look at what we need. Okay, you need an EXO repair kit. I just remembered something. <sighs> Fucking Gamma making the game so much harder. So, EXO repair kits cannot... You can't buy the magazine for it. I remember now, uh, the only way to get an EXO repair kit is uh, from finding the recipe on a body. And it can be very rare. You have to find it on like a... A master exo stalker of an enemy faction and uh and yeah they have a chance to spawn them so this is all we can do right now uh i am very happy with this loadout oh and i probably should set spawn there we go so now if i die i'll at least spawn here i think the souls like mod is uh kind of broken though unfortunately that's honestly fine though <laughs> okay our objective is still marked whoa there is a lot of bodies over at the cement factory oh we got mutants let's go let's test this thing out it is on I don't know if it's on full auto. Oh, my, uh... Oh! Put it on full auto, please. That's not full auto, bro. Okay. Hold on, my game bugged. I don't have a mini-map. What the fuck happened? <laughs> and it's not showing... In the bottom left, it's not showing my... Okay, there we go. Now it's on full auto. Okay, game kind of bugged. Might have to reload save. Okay. Alright, we just reloaded save. In the, uh... <laughs> The weather in the uh, environment looks totally different. This looks nice, though. Kind of like it. All right, we got our mini map back. Okay, yeah, we got our fire map. Okay, hold on. So we're on three round burst. We got three round burst, automatic, and semi automatic. Maybe we'll do a three round burst. That's kind of nice. Dude, it just destroys. This thing, I, I love the inspect on this, but it's. I wish it was more zoomed out. 
because it takes up the whole screen. Is this a good thumbnail, guys? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it is. That one might be. Oof. Yeah, that looked pretty good. Okay. There's no inspect on that 5.7, which makes me sad. They really need to add more pistol animations. Somebody is shooting over here. Don't know who that is. This thing has a 45 round mag, by the way, too. Uh, let's put it on two round burst. Yeah, whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bodies over here of some kind. Oh, man. I feel so powerful with these guns. I mean, to be fair, this, this AK-12 isn't that much better than the M4 I had. Whoa. Oh, okay. 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 All right. I hear you. Holy shit. My god, is he up top? Whoa. Dude. Where? This guy is a crack shot. I think we'll have a little bit higher ground if we go over here to the right. I have no clue where this dude is. But he's insane. Oh, there you are. Okay. Freedom. He went inside that building. Don't make me push up there. I might have to. There he is. I see your feet. Oh my god. You're not sneaky, bud. I see you. Okay, I just shot him so many times. Let's push up. Oof. Dude, this guy's nuts. Okay, you're dead. Nice. Yeah, headshots definitely feel a lot more powerful, I think, just overall. It took me a while to kind of really feel it out, but just from the last, you know, prior to anniversary update, um, I just feel like they definitely seem better. Oh shit, there's more. Hold on. I really want to kill at least somebody with this 5.7. So, as dumb as this might be, I'm going to try to find this dude and then take him out with my pistol. Okay, he's over here. Bruh. I'm so confused. Where the fuck is he? Hold on. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh god, give me off, give me off. Ouch. Okay, he is on the fucking staircase. I just couldn't see him. There you are. Reload? Oh, did I drop him? I think I killed him. Four shots? Yo! 5-7, new favorite gun? Oh my god. I hope I'm not like super blind. That dude, I really didn't see him. That was crazy. Yeah, four shots of the 5.7 just dropped him. Holy shit, okay. M4A1 functional barrel, I will definitely take that scope. That's worth some money. Uh, let's just auto-loot all this. He's got some weed? Of course he does. These damn freedom guys. <laughs> all right, let's go up top here. What did you have? Oh, another L96. This one has a good barrel. 59 damage. Do we take this? It's 7.62 by 5.1. It's a really good round. I mean, I have room for it. Let's Might as well. All right, we looted everything. Okay, now we just gotta run. <laughs> All the way down. Go get this uh, stash. I just pulled up the uh, that chart that has all of the tool spawn chances on it. Uh, I hate this, but we had a 50% chance of getting expert tools at the outskirts where we just were, and we didn't get them. So, yeah, that's very sad. But here in Jupiter, we have a 20% chance to get expert tools. 47% chance for advanced, so we'll probably get advanced. But hey, you know, 20% chance ain't nothing. That's 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 not too bad. We might get lucky here still. I'm, I'm hoping, man. Fingers crossed we get expert tools. That would just be an insane... This would make it an insane video. It would be perfect. This video seems like it might be pretty long. I've been recording a lot longer than I thought I was. We just were doing so much. It's freaking action-packed. So yeah, I'm assuming it's a longer video, and I hope you guys like it. This is a mutant. Hold on, let's get my... I'm about to get used to hitting number two. Oh, he unstuck. Oh my god, they don't stand a chance, dude. <laughs> oh, this vector is gonna make mutants like such a small threat from here on out. Holy shit. 30 round mag of Hydroshock that we can shoot as fast as humanly possible. And this 5.7, honestly, the ammo in this thing is better armor piercing and uh, I think it does better damage against stalkers than my AK with FMJ, which is pretty nice. I think the only way to complement this loadout is to take this AK-12 and 
change it out for a 762 AK and uh, and we'll be able to we'll be able to do that as soon as we get extra tools. I'm betting it's in the freaking tunnel. Oh no. Do we have to go in here? It has to be in the tunnel. There's no way it would just be like up on the hill. Oh, we got snorks. Bring it on. Of course they just went and hid. Little rats. Come on. Where are you at? Oh my god, they're gonna make me push. There you go. Okay. That was a little messy on my part, but this thing still deleted them. <laughs> if we're lucky, this stash is not in the tunnel. Maybe it's like right here. It does say it's above me, so hold on. Oh, no way. It's just right here. Let's go. Okay. Please give me something good. No. <laughs> Uh, advanced tools again, bro. We got two sets of advanced tools today. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. I appreciate you guys sticking around to see what we got in the stash. This is going to be the end of today's episode. I was really hoping to get some expert tools. Maybe next time. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think about doing an EFP run. I think we might should check it out again soon. And uh, I've been curious to see how EFP is doing after all this time. So I appreciate you guys watching this video, especially if you made it to the end. Have yourselves a good day and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.